Youth 20 or Y20 pre-summit was recently held in Balikpapan. This time, youth leaders from Indonesia and other G20 nations discussed issues regarding sustainability and ways to tackle problems to ensure our planet remains livable. Assuming the role of G20 presidency, Indonesia continues its leadership of this year's G20 forums. Just recently, on the 21st to 22nd of May, the port city of Balikpapan in East Kalimantan, Indonesia, hosted the latest Youth 20 or Y20 pre-summit, in which youth leaders from Indonesia and other G20 countries, such as Japan, South Korea and Russia, gathered and took a leading role in tackling global issues. In this third pre-summit, youth leaders discuss solutions regarding sustainability and tackle environmental issues to ensure planet Earth remains habitable. Among the focuses of discussion were finding solutions regarding the preservation of natural resources and maintaining sustainable production and consumption through the implementing of a circular economy. All the ideas and solutions formulated at this pre-summit will then be handed over to Indonesia's President Joko Widodo and then given to the leaders of G20 countries. Meanwhile, at this Youth 20 pre-summit, Indonesian delegates also showcase Indonesia's continuous efforts in sustainability and environmentally friendly practices. This includes showcasing the construction and development of Indonesia's new capital city, Nusantara, which will implement use electric vehicles as public transportation and also use renewable energy power plants to power the city. In her speech at the Youth 20 pre-summit, Indonesia's Minister of Environment and Forestry, Situ Nurbaya Bakar, stated that Indonesia's G20 presidency marked an important chance for realizing collective action for handling the three main environmental crises that are harming the planet. The presidency of Indonesia is a momentum to realize bolder collective action in overcoming the three planetary crises, namely the climate crisis, loss of biodiversity, and human overpopulation. Not only Indonesia, but Kalimantan in particular has an official and important role in sustainability efforts. As one of the permanent members of the Governor's Climate and Forest Task Force, the East Kalimantan province is given special responsibilities and tasks in environmental conservation and reducing carbon emissions. Peraturan-peraturan gubernur yang memang memberikan pedoman kepada masyarakat dan pemerintah daerah untuk tetap menjaga lingkungannya. Ya, kita akan diberikan kesempatan di samping kita sebagai salah satu GCF, ya, kemudian anggota GCF yang sama-sama dengan beberapa negara seperti di Brazil, Argentina, di Afrika Tengah, termasuk di Amerika Serikat, California, itu menjadi anggota tetap sebagai apa namanya yang diberikan tanggung jawab dalam hal pengelolaan lingkungan itu dan penurunan emisi gas buang. Other than the issue of sustainability, the Indonesian-led Youth 23rd pre-summit also discussed other priority issues, such as youth employment, digital transformation, and diversity and inclusion.